Hi. Well, if you're uh, looking at this video, it probably means you found yourself in the same boat that I'm in, pardon the pun, and that is that the uh, low oil alarm, low oil alarm, sorry, on your mercury outboard will not shut off. That means when it's running, it'll, it sounds off. When the uh, engine's off and you turn the ignition on and you know that the uh, engine is cool and it's on, that probably means that your low oil alarm is, um, is broken. And usually what I found and what a lot of other people on the internet have found is that it is because the float or the magnet that's on the float inside this tank has come loose. Now, I've already taken this tank off and I've already taken the parts out. And you'll see in there, see that uh, shaft sticking up? Well, on that is a, uh, a float with a magnet attached to it and then a retainer clip at the top. Now, you'll read on the internet and probably have already read that you cannot repair this. That in fact, there's a video on there that uh, where a guy cut it open and it gives you a very good look. That's a good video so you can exactly see what it's like on the inside. But anyway, the consensus on the internet is you can't repair this yourself. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. Because what I did was, uh, I, as you see, I've removed the parts from inside there. And here's what we've got. We've got... This is, you can see the magnet. This is the float. This little magnetic ring here. That goes on. Is adhered to the bottom of that. This goes down like that over the shaft and then it's retained, kept from coming off the shaft by this little clip here. Now what I did was I went in there and I reached in there with a small screwdriver like this, fairly long one, a six inch screwdriver, but it's a small tip, flat tip on there. And if you get it in there and you can just catch one of those things and you twist your screwdriver, you can flip that little retainer up. Then come over on this side, catch another one, flip it up. You can move it around so you can get at it, get another one or two of those up there. Eventually, you just flip those up a little bit, and that will release the thing. Then just take your uh, thing, turn it upside down, everything will fall out. So what, what to do next? Let's say that we can. So what we need to do is we need to get this back on here. These are both smooth services. This is just a little stamped magnetic ring that goes on here. Now what I'm going to try and uh, is I'm going to use some RTV red high temp RTV silicone instant gasket sealer. This is pretty tough stuff but most importantly on the back it says it's resistant to oil and gas which is what we want because this thing's going to be floating in your outboard oil. So this is my story and I'm sticking to it and we're going to try this out and uh, do that. Well, what I'm going to do is put a thin coat of this on the back side of this. I'm going to put this on there. I'm going to let it set up real good. And then uh, when I come back, we'll uh, put her back together. See what happens. Okay, so this is after I've uh, put a thin layer of RTV uh, red on there and press the uh, magnet back in there and we're going to let that set up real good and uh, notice that it's cleaned up on the inside there well enough so uh, that the RTV silicone doesn't want to stick to the shaft and uh, we'll see if it works okay well actually I got it back together and let me show you because I couldn't put it back together and video it at the same time because I only have two hands but let me show you what I did I took the float uh, with the magnet now attached to the bottom of it and I threaded it, you know, just slip this this long dowel in there with the uh, Magnet pointing that way and then holding that up here out of the way and you get it down here and you just put that Get that down there on the end of the shaft and then you let go of this of the float and it'll get down there and it'll slip right on that shaft. 
then you take that retainer thing and you put it on the same way and that is with the uh, concave side down put it on there let it slip down there and while you're holding that on there let's see if we can do that while you're holding that on there what I did was I had a pair of real long needle nose pliers so I could spread that and get on either side of the washer or the retainer clip and get down there and start pushing it down until it catches. Once it catches, then you can just go with a this stick on one side and a flat braid screw so you can use both hands and you just work that down and that will come down and rest on a flange down there. And once you've got that done, tip that up and the float goes up and down just just fine. How long it'll last, I don't know. But compare this repair and trying it before you spend 157 bucks on a new tank. Try it out and uh, post on this video. Comment on this video if you actually try it and uh, it works. I'm not going to install this in mine because I had already spent the 157 bucks and put in the new tank and I'm good to go. But I'm going to save this one for a backup or give it to a friend. Thank you.